This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Speaking of big time, Paul Heyman and Tommy Dreamer are making their way down in the crowd. And this is where, uh, you know, the time period where things with WWF and ECW are going on. Yeah. And uh, Tommy certainly well represented ECW as did the creator of that brand, Happy Heyman. So, uh, well, he's been around a long time, hasn't he, Paul? That's right. In, he in has. A key, in a key role. Yes. Influential all the way through. He's got he, a great, great mind as good as anybody I've been around ever. And I know we're jumping through a lot of segues here, but, uh, Jerry Lawler, just for everybody's historical knowledge had appeared at the ECW arena, uh, in an all time classic angle attacking Tommy dreamer and, uh, siding with Rob Van Dam and Sabu. Uh, and I mean, that was just two nights before all this took place here in the WWF. What if any JR did WWF have to do with ECW's creative at the time, or this was this all being worked out with with uh, Paul and, and Jerry Lawler? Oh, I think it, they worked out. Paul and Jerry worked it out, but uh, you know Vince blessed it, so uh, it wasn't like Vince didn't say what happened. Who did, we did what? Yeah, he, he was aware, and uh, you know we were just trying to create some new matches, uh, see if there's some stars in that group that we could capitalize on, and there were, and we did. So I, I always thought that the ECW experiment, if you want to call it that, was one that was the very well, very well warranted. It certainly was. It wasn't a mistake at all. It worked very well. JR, we, uh, we're picking up this match here with the Headbangers and one of your favorite tag teams, right? Doug Furness and Phyllis Lafon were at 39, 35, 36, 37, 38 for all those that are trying to follow along. But I know you were a big fan of Furness and Lafon, weren't you? This, yes, uh, they just had to find themselves. Uh, they weren't blessed with an overwhelming amount of uh, charisma. They were amazing in-ring performers. Uh, Doug Furness is, of course, from my home state of Oklahoma, and Commerce, same hometown that Mickey Mantle. Uh, so uh, I, I, I thought they had great upside. They had some great matches in Japan. We were just trying to find that formula and replicate it. Yeah, you have uh, Paul and Tommy at ringside, and uh, it's interesting because the entire crowd is, seems to be paying attention to them, which kind of kills the heat uh, for this match. When something like this happens, JR, does the talent get hot at the other talent for stealing heat or creative uh, like this? Do you end up hearing anything in the back from the guys like, oh, thanks a lot for that? Or Well, they can't really say anything to the talent because the talent didn't approve the idea. Yeah. That's an office idea. And the office wanted it. And so the guys just acquiesced and ran the plays that were called. So normally no. Now, if a guy goes and ad libs and gets way out of his lane, I can, there could be some conversation about that, but by and large, it's an office decision on what direction the creator was going to go. Talk about the headbangers a little bit. I, I haven't done a lot of watch alongs with you, JR, where I, we've gotten to see the headbangers, but I wanted to get your opinion and for our audience on what you thought of the talent skill set. Any kind of, do you remember, did you work with recruiting them or what's your background with them? Well, I was familiar with them through Jim Cornette. Cornette was uh, high on the headbangers and they worked, a, did a lot of things for him in Smoky Mountain. Uh, so I, 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 I was very familiar with their work. Uh, they were proceeded at the beginning to maybe be too gimmicky. Mm. Uh, but, uh, once you saw them work a few times, you realize they're really good talents, solid talents. And, and there was no tag team on the roster. There's as a, there's a pin cover. There's no tag team in the roster that would not want to work with the headbangers. They're just really solid. Uh, you know, two really skilled guys who weren't going to hurt you. They're going to do a good job. And now, uh. We got another headbanger in there, Thrasher. Yep, Mosh and Thrasher. I, I think I think uh, I think that the Cornette gave them their names. Okay, Mosh and Thrasher. I, I think now I might be wrong about that, but if he didn't, he had something to do with it because he was just such a uh, backer of them. That's cool to hear. That's a good little nugget because you know what I did like that they had a unique presentation. Uh, they were something different, weren't cookie cutter. It was, they did look different. They had the skirts and the, the, the headbanger gimmick and what have you. And they were talented in the ring. They were good hands for sure. Yeah, they were. And so, uh, here they are mixing it up. I think this match is, is about to wrap up and then we're going to head on to the war zone. 
And uh, big power slam there in the ring. And where's the referee at? Oh, there he is. One, two, the save is made. Speaking of tag team action, uh, I, this match, as I see, it's kind of a lot of anarchy. I want to give you some props here while we're watching the ending of this match. The headbangers pick up the win. Buddy, on, if you're, and, and I know, uh, you know, not everybody here are a fan of this, fan of that, but I'm going to give you some props for the call on that uh, anarchy in the arena match, my friend. That oh. was one of the most fun, crazy matches I ever heard. I love the music playing during it. It added to the feel. But you and just how you played ad lib that match was fantastic. Oh, thank you, Paul. Well, it was oh. fun to get into. You know, yes, you, you invest yourself, and then you hope that your creative and your lyric that you provide the the play by play is good. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.